if any is target, well, there's only two of us. So it's official then? McCluskey's head mistress? Yeah. I guess who the new deputy head's gonna be? Who? Bronson. Bronson? Don't be silly. You wait and see. Well, who told you? Little birds, Zig. Little birds. Well, what happened to Baxter? He was in assembly last their term. So? So they told us then about Bridget being permanent and Baxter gave his farewell speech. He's left to run a sports centre. Oh. You know, sometimes wonder about you, Zig. Well, they're certainly interesting documents, both of them, and quite different in their conclusions. I dread to think how much of your holidays they must have taken up. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think I shall regret either of your appointments. And with so many senior staff leaving us, I need all the support I can get. Of course. And I do feel that my proposals will help to clarify what kind of school we want Grange Hill to be. I think the fashion for chaos has passed. In what sense? The mergers, the changes of leadership, the random organization, the... School, the... Mr. Bronson. I think there'll always be a certain amount of chaos. After all, we are trying to make it possible for children to learn, not for the staff to have an easy time of it. I certainly don't want to be head of studies at a parade ground. I think my paper makes that clear. Very. As I was saying, I think the days of laissez-faire, do-it-yourself, let us not worry about them being able to read or write, those days have gone. Along with canes and learning pointless facts for useless tests that bear absolutely no relation to the world outside. Being able to read has not completely lost its usefulness, and I must well, point out that you'd it... used your reading ability to look through my paper, you might have realised... I have read your essay, but the fact it remains that it is absolutely not... a great deal of time going it's through the partridge. curriculum. Well, I don't want to be accused of being no irresponsible in my... you of anything. As I've said, they're both interesting documents, and it's my intention to take the best ideas, what I consider to be the best ideas, from both of them to form the basis of the new handbook. I don't quite see how you can. They are so utterly opposed. That's right. And that is why, when the governors pressed for your appointment, I supported it. I want Miss Partridge's enthusiasm and ideas. I also want your keen sense of order and tradition. I think there's room for both voices at Grange Hill, don't you? And now, as deputy head, I think you have to take junior assembly. So shall we continue this some other time? Yes, I think it's going to be a very interesting year. Back, will you? Sorry. Fancy, Jane. We got offsides. Or you wait for Gonch? A long wait if I was. Was well, he left? No, he had to go to Bahrain with his dad. Yeah? We'll be back in a couple of months, though. That should be long enough. How much does that cost? I don't know. My dad got him for me. Oh. I am. Hey, Rowley! Rowley! Come here, sir. I've got to say something. He not fancy himself outside, didn't he? Who? Oh. That fuck here. <laughs> Couldn't take his eyes off you. Don't tell me you didn't notice. Don't worry. He's tried it on with just about every girl in the school so far. He'll get round to you eventually. Are you serious? We did go a bit quiet just now when he was chatting to us. Yeah, and now you're blushing. <laughs> oh, shut up. Look at that. Well, what are you squinting for? They're not that small. I'm not. I'm blinking. It's my new contact lenses. Are you in focus yet? Well, what is it at liberty or what expects us to use these? They were for little kids when this was a primary school. I know that, but it's meant to be a sixth form unit now. I mean, they're only six inches off the floor. Well, no offence, Rowley or son, but if you sit down on one of those, it's going to take them block and take them to get you back up again. You badge and tie look smart, which is more than can be said of you, Savage. Go away, Davis. I mean, what a waste of time for Danny Kendall going to all that trouble brightening out the school uniform with scruffs like you around. I could talk it. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'll just leave me alone, Davis. You really ought to pay more attention to your appearance, Winston, darling. Liven yourself up a bit. I'll just leave me alone, Davis. A few streaks in his hair. Pick on someone else for a change. Why not? After all, you are higher than him on my list. What list? 
Tell him about it while I shake the can. Right. It didn't take Davis long to get out of the starting gate, did it? Going for... No, no, it's two on to two, even Stevens. Come on. Of these what are you all standing in the cupboard? Oh, Look at the state of you. I think he is doing. Who was it? Dracula's the one? Mm. Did you get any in your eyes? No, she was just standing from here. Just as well. You could have been blinded. Anyway, might as well go and get them checked, just in case. Yeah, okay. But you two better watch out. She's sorting out the opposition one by one. She wants to make sure she's top by the time Gonch gets back. She's got this sit list. List? I'm the old opposition. She needs to start worrying about. Must be why her name's at the top of it then. What? Oh, yeah. Morning, G4. Kendall! How nice to see you. And on the first day of term. Not sporting the new school colours even though it was your winning design which brought all this about. We have got till half term to get. Yes, sir. Is it right we're going to be studying for these new exams? I shall be making an announcement to that effect. You will all be informed in due course. You don't approve. I don't see the point. Exams are meant to set you apart, right? That is not the sole reason for that existence. No? What else, then? No one remembers what they learned for an exam. No one expects them to. You get a GC, means you're better than someone with a CSE. Simple as that. I think you are being over-simplistic, Kendall. Why? That's what it all boils down to. So who's going to be able to tell the difference? Now we've all been lumped together. I shall be able to tell the difference. And as your final grades will depend partly on our continual assessment of the work you do in class, may I suggest that you make a start? Your new form tutor is waiting to take registration. Class assessment? They can't assess me if I ain't around, can it? Why are you coming in? There you are. What's all this about? I'll put it back, Trevor. I'll put it back, Trevor. Someone's obviously gone to a lot of trouble to make that. Well, I'm only looking out, all right? You don't have to touch them, just let go. No, you let go. Who do you think you are? I say you're going to be finding out, Bells. You and a few others. Yeah, go on, Trev. Go on, then, Trev. I'm fine a goody two-shoes, are you? Keep out of this, Davis. Hey, don't you start getting brave now, Savage. Kid comes to help you. You don't have to leave him. Who's he talking about, Vince? Hollow. He's ended up with half a can of air colour in his barn, thanks to him. And air. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Vince, come on, Vince. I wouldn't try it if I was no. you. No. No. Oi, Bridget's coming. Oi. The Greaves. Cash. Someone been in to see you already? No, miss. Just taking it upon yourselves to sit quietly in anticipation of our arrival? Yes, miss. You seem a very well-behaved class. Either that or we've arrived about half a minute too late. This is Mr. Scott, your form tutor. Hello. As you know, he's new to the school. Whereas you as third years doubtless think you know every trick in the book. Well, just remember, I know them too. Which is why I'm slightly suspicious of the silence which greeted us as we entered the room. However, I'm not looking to be uncharitable on the first day of term, so I shall give you the benefit of the doubt. Let us just hope you maintain this standard of behaviour for Mr. Scott. I'm sure they will. Right. Griffiths will sort that out. Oh, that roll is on a bleat again. What's wrong? I think I've lost one of my contact lenses. Oh, not in here. And to this lot. Oh, oh Rowley. Why were you stooping? Davis? Yeah. Donnington? Sir. 
Gardner? Gardner? He's not here, sir. Oh, clever. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but somewhere in Bahrain. <laughs> Bahrain? He is, sir. Well, I didn't say he wasn't. I was just wondering why he's still on the register. Because he's coming back. It's been a quick trip. Some in the playground this morning. No, say no, Rosa Vare, sir. She's lying. Ask Hollow. Yeah, ask Hollow. Who's Hollow? <laughs> <laughs> he's not here either, sir. All right. I'll check this out at the office. Uh, Greaves? Sir. I suppose you know where he is too, do you? <laughs> no, sir. That's me. I'm Greaves. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Uh, where am I? Um, Holloway? That's Hollow, sir. The one I was telling you about. Who's not here? He's having a bit of first aid, sir. Okay. You're all right, Pine, you are. I was supposed to find him. Dumb it, dumb it. Gotcha, you little beauty. Pack up. <laughs> you got a great aim, Mass Soul Level. What would you say the odds were against me finding that? You're brilliant. Is that what you want me to say? No, nah, only if you meant it. Try not to lose it this time. Wolford? Yes, sir. Um, Wimbledon? Wimbledon? Absent, sir. Tennis elbow. Wimbledon? Tennis? <laughs> Did you want anything in particular, um, Imelda? No, I just wondered if you knew anything about this. Yeah, it's the new notice board which I made for the class. <coughs> no, I meant about this. Does anyone know who's responsible for this? What do you think? I'm sorry? Well, she's just told you about it, hasn't she? Don't look at me. Try over there in Greaves' bag. Might find half a used hairspray. Well? Well, I've got the can, sir. <coughs> but it wasn't me. Not deliberate. Well, bring the can, please. And who are you? Right, sir. Yeah. After Wimbledon. And you? Good grief. What happened to you? Someone sprayed with air spray, sir. Never mind his hair. What, what about your eyes? Have you had them checked? Yes, sir. That's where we've just been. I'm OK, then. You had a lucky escape. It could have been a lot more serious. I told you. These two incidents seem to be connected to you, Greaves. Not only me, sir. Well, who else, then? Wimbledon, sir. It was him who sprayed hollow. Your board got damaged when I tried to take the can away from him. Is this right? Sir. And Wimbledon, where is he now? He ran out of the classroom, crying. How oh, did he? Well, I shall be anxious to have a word with him when he returns. Go on, back to your seats. Kendall. I'll tell you if it was any of your business. Full fears. Freddie Mannering chatting up Jackie this morning, and now him creeping round here chatting up Faye. Oi, who's this Mannering? Nobody. And he wasn't chatting me up, actually. I was talking about the new exams. Oh, highly uplifting. See you later, Faye. Yeah, you probably will know. The right she's going. You've been sitting those exams together. Oh, like a brainiac. What was it you got? Three CSAs? Oh, what grade? Yeah, well, at least I'm not wasting my time with resets. I think I asked you a question. Um, I'm doing the uh, CPVA course, if you must know. Oh, that tells us everything. Oh, it's the Certificate of Pre-Vocational Education. They teach you the sort of things you need for different kinds of jobs. The great thing is you get work experience as well. well what sort of jobs? It's up to you to choose. Really? So you not only get a job, you get a choice. It's a bit like playing make-believe, really, isn't it? Well, why ask us? You two are the ones that know all about that. Stephen? Day to laugh at me and Julie. She spent the last six weeks fantasizing over some teacher. And when's he been all summer? Probably bombed out with his nut on some staircase or other. You're wrong. I spent most of it in narcotics on none of us. Yeah, well, you were lucky. Yeah, I know. Are you. you know, if you. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. And how about you? How'd you get on with your exams? 
right. I'm doing a little English mystery. You <coughs> see PVE then? No, but she's not a snob, are you, Jack? Oh, I don't think anyone in this room's a snob. Anyway, you were the one who started all this. Yeah, you were. Yeah? All right. I'm sorry, Faye. But what about Samo? Don't matter. Just don't get so wound up about CPVE. No one's laughing at you, Steve. Yeah, but tell us something. What A-level was you taking, Sam? No. Not until I thought you sit on my O-levels. I'll be with Faye. She don't mind. She's not a snob either. No. Nah. What about the fifth years, though? Fifth years? Fifth years? Well, they're the ones you're going to be taking your lessons with. Did you know anything about this? Yeah. And you're not bothered? Faye. If anyone told either of us last term being any sort of state to reset exams, what would you have thought? I'm only too glad to be back here. It's not important who they sit me with. Might not be to you. Sorry I'm late. Heavens, it's a bit of a squeeze. I shouldn't worry, miss, because from what I've just heard, me and Zamo ain't told to be in here. Why ever not? You're both in the sixth form. So how comes I've got to spend most of our lessons with the fifties in? So yeah, do I have to edge break time? You'll find Mr. Griffiths next door in the sixth form unit. It won't take you long. Okay. Just wait a minute. You came unstuck on here, didn't you, Davis? You're the one that's gonna come unstuck if women have just left the school. I know that. That's why I gave him his name. You're mad. What's going to happen now if he finds out the Wimbledon doesn't go to Grange Hill anymore? Well, why should he? His name's still on the register. No one anyway. He doesn't know whether he's coming or going, that's Scott. All of more reasons for you not to confuse him. It must be horrible being a new teacher. It's not my fault if he's a soft touch. You did have to show him up in front of Melda, though. She'll make his life a misery now. Well, she does that to everyone. Why should he get away with it? That's why I'm alone. Sorry. Where's Helen? I don't know. She disappeared after registration. Mm. Keep watch. Too easy. Take them not the drawer. Have you seen this? All the summers from Morris Bronson. We've all had them. He's reorganizing Grange Hill. But don't we all know it? <laughs> I'm glad you all find this shamble so amusing. If you think this space is tight, go and have a look at the sixth one common room. Is that supposed to make me feel better? No. Just... This morning I had to leave my car in a side street because there's nowhere to park it at the school. Oh, well, why worry about it? Before long, most of us won't be able to afford to run a car anyway. So that solves that problem. Mm. In the meantime, let's all get up in arms about how the sixth formers are having to rough it. After all, they're the ones who really matter. Well, I think they are. Yes, well, you would, wouldn't you? As their pastoral tutor. What are you doing in here? Trying to avoid someone. Teacher? No, we mailed her. Oh, yeah. What have you done to upset her, then? Nothing. I just don't want anything more to do with her, if I can help it. Liverpool Supporters Club? Who have you nicked that from? It's mine. You're a member of Liverpool Supporters Club, are you? Yeah, I am, as it happens. Well, not without my saying off. Give me a... Oi! Get that back, you! Give it to me. Oi! No! Get back! Here! Here! What's going on here, eh? Just what do you think you're up to? It's not my fault. He's the one that tore me magazine. Your magazine? What do you know about Liverpool? More than you do. Oh, don't make me laugh. Girls aren't about football. Now, look, I asked you two a question. Just what do you think you're doing in here, eh? Mr. Scott sent me to tell you not to bother about fixing an notice board to the wall. Oh, did he? Good. Well, that means I can stay here for the rest of the break and supervise you two while you straighten out this mess you've made. Go on. Go on. Can they dispose of the animal themselves? That's just the point. I don't want to disposed of. It's hardly our responsibility. The donkey did wander into school of its own accord, and we have paid its upkeep for a year. Quite long enough, in my opinion, hardly cost-effective. Excuse me. Uh, you're not talking about Harriet, are you? That's the donkey's name. Mr. Griffiths visits her from time to time, I believe. Yes, unfortunately we are. I've had a phone call from the stables. They're closing down. So you're planning to have her dropped off at the glue factory? I would not have phrased it quite like that. Well, uh, must be somewhere else she could stay. Oh, please, I'm open to any suggestions. Uh, look, uh, 
Would you leave it with me, Mrs. McCluskey? Gladly, but you don't have much time. I shall come up with something, I promise. I hope you can, I really do. Cost effective. <laughs> there must be some way of keeping her alive. There must be some way she can go, Mr. Griffiths. Hmm? You know, there's quite a few spare rooms around this place. Hmm? It's just a thought. Yeah, go on, you finish off, go on. Do we have to? Yeah, go on. Perhaps you joined up writing? Yeah, that's right. All of your mate. I'd like to see you try now. Why, is he going to stop me? Depends. On what? You want to be number one by the time Gonch gets back, right? So? So do I. Number one boy, that is. Some people might have something to say about that. Ziggy Greaves, for instance. I don't think it'll get very far. I mean, it's still enough to take you on. And you're not? Put it this way. I won't get in your way and you won't get in mine. Prove it. Ah. Your mate. You keep calling him my mate. He's my mate's now. Oh, Trevor, don't muck about. Trevor! <laughs> 